I got my hands on the one size turn up the base BB cream and we're gonna do a full-on wear test we're gonna try this baby out and all that jazz and I'm gonna tell you whether we love it or not this is one size's latest launch it retails for $33 and it is available in 18 shades I got mine in medium 3G, which is the shade medium with golden undertones. Let's open up the packaging. So it is said to be a three-in-one formula. It's supposed to blur skin texture, balance oils, and boost hydration. Side note, it is formulated with white rose, avocado, and mango hydra blend. So this is really supposed to be good for your skin. I would say really look into the ingredients and see all the skin benefits that you can get. I also have other notes for you guys. If you want light medium coverage, then they advise that you use your fingers. If you want medium coverage, then they advise you use a brush. And if you want medium full coverage, then go in with a beauty sponge. You guys already know I like to be different with my try-ons and first impressions and then my wear tests. So of course, we're going to apply this on one side of my face with my fingers and then on the other side with a sponge and my baby is already nice and damp. So let's dive on and I'm going to pull my hair up first. Don't mind like the loose hair. I call them cacatos. Okay. Okay. All right. My mirror is like right here. I'm going to skin prep just to give it like a fair chance because I do this with pretty much every single foundation, BB cream, skin tint, all of that. So I am going to apply this product over here. It is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. It has um, niacinamide. So I apply this first. I'm just, I'm going to finish this off camera, but I'm letting you know what I'm doing. That way, like you're in the now. And I will be applying two different primers. Here's, here's like my theory behind this, my idea. So I'm gonna use a sponge on this side. I want a primer that's gonna do a great job at gripping poom. I do, I do wanna give this BB cream a good shot. And so I need to do exactly what I do for everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do um, this gripping on the my left because I'm gonna use a sponge. So it's gonna be like easier to apply and get a, like the full coverage that they're saying. But then on the opposite side, we are gonna use the Cover FX. This is the Water Cloud Primer. I'm using this one because they're not advertising that it's supposed to blur your skin. I'm going to rely on the one size product to do that. So we're gonna, you know. Mm. And the reason why I'm not doing um, the gripping primer on my right side is because I'm gonna use my fingers on the right side, so I need to be able to blend properly, and the gripping primer is more than likely going to give me a hard time blending with fingers. I only put a little bit, because I'm not trying to overdo it either. Again, I wanna see how this formula performs, so I'm limiting the amount of product that I'm actually applying just in general. Today is not gonna be an eye makeup type of day, guys. I know it's weird, I always show you guys what I do See, like that's all I'm gonna apply and I'm gonna dot that everywhere. Today, all I'm doing is my foundation on camera, which is rare because I know, I know, I know. I always show you guys my eye look. But if you guys like the eye look that I create today, I'm gonna keep it simple. You guys just let me know. And then I'll recreate it and film it. Okay, ooh, my skin is getting tacky on this side already. Let me show you guys a close up of the packaging. There we go love the packaging it's really nice here's what's different typically you would expect the little like tip of the nozzle like you know to be in the center it is on the side that looks like a pretty good shade match to me you see it's on the side is that different or what i am going to do about that much i hope that's enough for my entire face i'm not sure i'm gonna go in with my fingers <gasps> Yeah, this is more than enough for my entire face. Okay, I'm gonna do one side. We're blending, ooh, it feels creamy but moussey at the same time. As you blend it away, it almost feels like a powder. It is blurring my pores. I like that a lot. And the cut, I mean, this is a really good shade for me. Being that I'm olive skin tone, like it really depends on which brand I'm using for foundation and so what I'll do is I always go in and like really bronze it up and do the most to make sure that there's a good color match but this is actually doing pretty good I mean hello look at that there's no pinkness no pinkness it balanced out my skin this is the kind of coverage that I like it's like light medium you can still see my freckles it looks pretty natural 
Oh my goodness, I hope this wears amazing throughout the day. Okay, I'm gonna leave this alone, but look, I'm even bringing it down here and it's blending great. And that was a small amount. Okay, a little bit is gonna go a very long way because look, I barely even touched it. Oh my goodness. Okay, before, after, and I, you know what? I'm gonna do one of these and I'm gonna pop a little extra under the eye. That way I can avoid color correcting in a bit. It is brightening, wow. Cause look, I mean, it's even balancing out my lids and the coverage is beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna give this side a second. You guys see the before and the after. Now I'm gonna go in with a sponge. I'm gonna go in to the product directly. I'm gonna pick up whatever's left in there. And this side should be full on coverage. I don't mind there being a difference if there is going to be a drastic difference solely because I'm not really going anywhere today. I will be staying in at home. So it's not a big deal. So far, the coverage is like a smidge heavier on this side, on the sponge side. But like in person, if you really look at it, I don't think you'll be able to notice like a huge, huge, huge difference. Like you really have to like get close to my face and be like, oh yeah, there's definitely a difference. It looks kind of the same. You do see just a little less skin on the sponge side. I apply a little extra under the eye like I did over here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like there's more coverage on here, but it's not a drastic difference. Personally, I would go with this side, even though I do like being able to see my freckles, just because it's so much easier to not use your fingers. It's cleaner, at least for me. I can't stand using my fingers to apply my foundation, my bases and that kind of thing. But it's good to know that it's gonna give me beautiful coverage anyway. If I don't have a tool with me last minute for whatever reason, um, I could always use my fingers. I like this, it feels nice. This side is set. It is not super tacky. Do you need to set it? I am gonna say um, if you have oily skin, yeah, try setting it. If you have really, really, really dry skin, you might actually like this. I have normal combo, so I think I'm good with dusting just a little bit of powder from like whatever I have left from under my eyes, dusting it around like this area, and I think I should be fine. So what I'm gonna do is I will go off camera, I'll finish up my face, and I'll be right back. Mm, the rest of my face is on. Let me pull this out. I tried to like do a little something with my hair. <laughs> I won't be able to tell you whether it sucks or not like fully, until it's been hours later. Right now it is 11.50 in the morning, okay? I did apply this about a half hour ago. I've been mommying back and forth. So this was a half hour ago. This is what it looks like right now. It being on my skin a half hour, it still looks flawless, looks amazeballs. Regardless of whichever, and I have my viewfinder right here, that's why I keep looking, because I want to see what you guys are seeing. Regardless of the primer that I used, it looks good. And it doesn't matter that I used my fingers on one side and a sponge on the other, it looks good either way. Is there one side that, in my opinion, as of right now, like instantly looking at it, is my favorite? The, the finger side. The side I used, my fingers, to apply the BB cream is my favorite right now. I feel like it just looks lighter and smoother and prettier. Did it blur my pores? Yes, it did, but this side just looks prettier. This one has more coverage, but this one just looks prettier. And I am still in my brown kick right now, so I'm like doing a lot of browns, okay? Okay. I wanted to make it a point to tell you, no, I did not set my skin at all. I just went in with my bronzer, I went in with my blush, but I ended up not like powdering the rest of my skin. And it's kind of like a powder finish, so it's not like tacky like that anymore. Another thing is it did not oxidize, which is wonderful, so it looks the same as it did when it was wet now that it has set. Okay, so the timestamp right now is 11.53 a.m. I am gonna move about my day. I have to make a cheesecake. And I'm, I'll be cooking dinner, I'll be with the baby, I'm gonna be doing the stuff that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So, we'll see how this wears throughout the rest of the day, and at that point I'll be able to tell you whether it sucks or it's a must-have. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I am back, I am exhausted. So if anything, I just look extremely exhausted. <sighs> Mom life, okay? But um, it is 8.08 p.m. Where is it? There we go, 8.08 p.m. And yes, it is Valentine's Day. Let me give you a rundown of everything that I've done today. I have gone to BJ's. I actually tested out my new air fryer because my, um, my regular air fryer that I had, I broke it. <laughs> 
Um, so I went to BJ's, I went and I put gas. I was running around picking up Ty, dropping off Ty, running errands. I also made a cheesecake, I made dinner, I did the dishes. And I've been back and forth, like it's not like I have been sitting down. So it is past 8 p.m. and this is what my face looks like. Again, this side was done with my fingers and then the left side was actually applied with the sponge. Here's, here's my, I mean, it looks really good. And remember that I applied some of the BBB cream under the eyes as well. So I did skip the color correction, which was awesome. And my eyes look super bright and just like amazing. I look awake though I look tired at the same time. So here's the deal. I never applied a setting spray at the end because I wanted to see how the formula truly behaves throughout the day. So this is just primers and product. It played so wonderfully with all the other products that I applied on top of it. The products that I applied were all powders. So that's something that's important to note. I personally think that the side that I applied with my fingers still looks a lot better. Not that the one that I used a sponge with looks bad at all, it doesn't. This is what my skin would typically look like on, like on a really good makeup day with a really expensive foundation. Like this is typically what it'll look like at the end of the day. But being that it's just like a BB cream, it's a BBB cream. It's BBB. So it's not considered a full on foundation. My skin does not look excessively oily. It looks hydrated, luminous. It doesn't feel sticky, tacky, or anything like that. And personally, I could go another two hours and see what happens, but nothing has happened so far other than my lipstick rubbed off. We just had dinner. I made Valentine's Day dinner and dessert making sure I have no food on my teeth because that would be embarrassing. But yeah, there's no point of sitting for another two hours waiting to see what's gonna happen because if nothing has happened in past eight hours, nothing is gonna happen now. In my opinion, it's really good. Totally worth the $33, guys. The fact that their color range is very nice. I've seen some of the deepest models on their campaign utilizing this and their skin looks absolutely beautiful, but then they also have the fairest using their product and it looks amazing. The color match for me was wonderful. Again, this one is in medium 3G and I absolutely love the coverage. I love the finish. I love the wear. It doesn't oxidize. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Is it crap? Hell no. Patrick Starr did his thing. So far, everything I've tried by one size is the bono. So do you need to snag this? Absolutely run and get this like now. And that is a wrap for today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button that way I know you're liking these kinds of reviews. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.